Minor Murderers, Children Who Kill is a true crime podcast covering stories in which the killer was under the age of 18 at the time of the murder. The first case that I heard about involving a teenage killer that really stuck with me was Centoya Brown, who was a 16-year-old prostitute when she killed her 43-year-old John in 2004. The case happened in Middle Tennessee, not far from my mother's house. This case will be covered in Episode 1. I've happened upon a number of other cases, such as the murder of 9-year-old Michael Connor Verkirke, who was stabbed by 12-year-old Jamarion Lawhern on the playground in Kent, Michigan. 15-year-old Zachary Davis bludgeoned his mother Melanie Davis with a hammer in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Joseph Hall, age 10, shot and killed his father, Jeffrey Hall, in Riverside, California. Rachel Schof and Sheila Eddy stabbed their friend, 16-year-old Skylar Niece, over 50 times and then hid her body in the woods. Niece was missing for six months before anyone knew what had happened to her. Unfortunately, I've discovered there are plenty of cases to keep me busy for a long time. Each story makes me wonder why. What makes these kids kill? Is it a horrible upbringing? Is it revenge? Is it fear? Is it mental illness? Maybe it's a combination of one or more of these things, or maybe it's something else altogether. Is there something we, as a society, can do to prevent these tragic killings? Is the justice system handling these cases correctly? Subscribe to Minor Murderers on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts as we delve into these cases of children who kill. Join the conversations on social media to learn more about each case and discuss the issues. We can be found on Facebook at facebook.com slash mmcwk, on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash minor murderers, and instagram.com slash minor murderers. Become a Patreon supporter for exclusive content by going to patreon.com slash minor murderers. Feel free to visit our website at minormurderers.com for more information. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in January 2019.